Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on filter design. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to emphasize on band stop filter. This video, I'm going to discuss how can we actually design a wide band band stop filter with open circuit stop or micro strip line. So this will be the objective of this video. In short, okay, this open circuit stop, they will be quarter wavelength, which means that the transmission line of this open circuit stop will be quarter wavelength. Okay, so basically another transmission line, which is the connecting line, they will be also so-called quarter wavelength. I'm not sure whether you understand what is called a branch light structure. Okay, so basically this discussion, I'm going to use this branch light transmission structure to build this band stock filter. This will be the part 27 series discussion on filter design. So guys, if you're keen to know more about filter design, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on filter design. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Or if not, I actually prefer you guys to ask me questions through the comment. Okay, so this is because I hardly check this email. So guys, if you want to have a faster response, okay, ask me through the comment. Okay, before I continue, okay, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like this video. For those who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell. So let's start. How can we actually design a band stop filter? Okay, so basically this is the proposed open circuit stop band stop filter. This is what we call the open circuit stop, okay, because at the other end here, they are all open circuit. So therefore, this is called an open circuit stop. Okay, this is what I mentioned earlier on, which is the connecting line. So basically, this is actually to connect okay, another open circuit stop to another open circuit stop. Okay, so in short, as I mentioned on the previous page, the length of the transmission line for the open circuit stop and also the connecting line, they will be all quarter wave length. Okay, so keep this in mind before I keep start the discussion. Okay, so basically, this is what we call a branch light structure. Okay, so basically, this is what we call the open circuit stop because at the other end here is actually open circuit. And this open circuit stop will be quarter wavelength. This is what we call a connecting line. This will be also so called quarter wavelength. Okay, so the figure above actually dissipate a transmission line network n equals to 3. Okay, how I know that this is n equals to 3? 1, 2, 3. So basically, I count the open circuit stop. If it's n equals to 3, I need to have 3 open circuit stop of a band stop filter featuring open circuit stop. In this configuration, the shunt quarter wavelength open circuit stop are separate by unit element, okay, which is known as connecting line. There are also quarter wavelength long at the mid stop band frequency. So basically, all these transmission lines, okay, they are quarter wavelength at the respect of the mid-stop band of the band stop filter. Okay, the filtering characteristics of the filter depend entirely on the design of the characteristic impedance ZI, okay, which is the open circuit stop. So basically, the filter characteristics is actually depend on the characteristic impedance ZI, okay, which means that, let's say for this case, N equals to 3, it will be depend on this 3 open circuit stop. Okay, beside this open circuit stop, they also depend on the characteristic impedance of the connecting line. Okay, so this connecting line will also contribute to okay, the filter response. And last but not least, okay, so these two terminating impedance, which is ZA and ZB, they also play a role on the frequency response of the filter. So in short, you can see that this open circuit stop, the connecting line, and also the two external impedance, they actually all play a role to decide the performance of the band stop filter. Theoretically, this type of filter can be designed to have any stop bandwidth 
However, in practice, the impedance of the open circuit stop become unreasonable high if the stop bandwidth is very narrow. Okay, because this can be very narrow with high frequency. And if let's say it's so narrow that it's almost very difficult to fabricate, then this become not realistic anymore. Okay, so therefore, this type of band stop filter is more suitable for the realization of a wide band band stop filter. So in short, okay, we, we can't have a narrow band okay, because of the limitation okay, of the high impedance of this open circuit stop. Okay, because it's so high impedance that it's a most very difficult to fabricate. So in short, for this kind of open circuit, it is actually most of the time will be a wide band band stop frequency response. Okay, so let's visit some of the formulas that will be used. Okay, so this will be used for all the configuration. Okay, for example, when you design n equals to one, okay, so these are the set of formula that you need in order to design the band stop filter. Okay, let's say if you decide to use n equals to two, so this will be the set of equation that you need to use to design this band stop filter. For this example here, okay, I'm going to use this n equals to three. Okay, so basically these are all the set of formula that we need okay, in order to design this open circuit stop band stop filter. Okay, but I have also put n equals to four and also n equals to five for you in case that you need to use them to design this open circuit stop band stop filter. Okay, but in short, okay, what happened here is basically I have this general formula which I need to compute what will be my alpha. After that, I need to decide okay, whether my open circuit stop, okay, whether I need one, whether I need two, or whether I need three, whether I need four, or whether I need five. I just find all this equation to compute all the impedance for the open circuit stop and also the connecting line. Okay, keep this in mind and also for the external impedance. Then I'm ready to have this frequency response of band stop filter. Okay, without any delay. Okay, let me give you an example. I think an example will be very, very clear. Okay, so a microstrip band stop filter is designed based on three pole, n equals to three. Okay, one, two, three. Chapitial low pass prototype with a pass band ripper of 0 0.05 dB. The element value of the low pass filter are Okay, so basically G0 equals to G4 equals to 1, G1 equals to G3 equals to 0 0.8794, and G2 is equals to 1.1132. Okay, keep this in mind, you can change any other form. Okay, so basically you can have a pass band ripper of 0 0.51 dB or 0 0.1 dB. Okay, this is just clearly for illustration only. The band stop filter is designed to have a fractional bandwidth of 1 at the mid-band frequency of 2.5 gigahertz okay, with the band edge frequency, okay, which means that the lower cutoff frequency will be at 1.25 gigahertz and the higher cutoff frequency will be at 3.75 gigahertz. Using the design equation and assume Z0 equals to 50 ohm, okay, which means that ZA and ZP will be equals to 50 ohm, okay, design the band stop filter. Okay, a substrate okay, having a relative dielectric constant of 6.15 and thickness of 1.277 mm is chosen for this microstrip line realization. Okay, so in short, this is actually n equals to 3. Okay, remember, okay, basically for this form of design, there will be always a symmetric line. Okay, so basically when you actually draw the symmetric line, which means that Z1 is equal to Z3 and Z12 will be equal to Z23. Okay, keep this in mind. Okay, for this case here, I will have my symmetric line. And when I draw my symmetric line, okay, I conclude that Z1 will be equal to Z3 and Z12 will be equal to Z23. Okay, so with this, I'm ready to design this band stop filter. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you still remember these are the set of equations that I need to calculate. Okay, so basically I need to calculate alpha here. So here you can see that this is my fractional bandwidth. Okay, if you still remember for this question, the fractional bandwidth is equal to one. And basically this is the form here. And basically I simplify, okay, which means that the alpha is equal to one. Okay, so I have calculated the first equation. 
okay, which is in this form here. So I calculate this alpha is equals to one. So next, because I design n equals to three, I need all these to compute my characteristic impedance of the open circuit stop and also the connecting line. Okay, so let's see how I actually able to achieve this. Okay, so over here we can see that okay, for this case here, as I mentioned earlier on, okay, Z1 is equal to Z3 and that will be governed by this equation. Okay, so I know that ZA will be equal to 50 ohm. Alpha, as I calculate over here, will be equal to 1. Okay, so these are all the so-called the low pass filter with a pass band ripple of 0 0.05 dB. Basically, this will be a lookup table. When I look at the lookup table, these are all the parameters that I can find from the lookup table. So over here, okay, G0 is equal to 1. G1 is equal to 0 0.8794 and G2 is equal to 1.1132, okay, which is all given by this question. Okay, keep this in mind, as I mentioned earlier on, all this can be different. You will still get your desired band stop frequency response. So with this, I'm ready to calculate my Z1 and also Z3. So ZA is equal to 50, 1 plus 1 over, this is equal to 1. G0 is equal to 1. My G1 is equal to 0 0.8794. Eight seven nine four. So I compute that my zip one is equals to one zero six point nine five ohms. Okay. So next, I'm ready to calculate my connecting line. Okay, which is the Z one two. Okay. So I'm not sure whether you still remember. This is basically the connecting line for Z one two. Here. Okay. So basically, I need this equation to calculate my Z one two, which is equals to Z two three. Okay, so which is equal to Z23. How can I compute here? So these are all the formulas. Okay, again, my ZA equals to 50. 1 plus this alpha is equals to 1. G0 equals to 1. And basically, this will be the G1. And I can compute that my connecting line is actually equals to 93.97 ohm. And then last but not least, I need to compute my Z2. Okay, so the Z2 formula is actually given over here. Okay, so I need to compute this Z2. Okay, so again, the formula are here. So ZA equals to 50, G0 equals to 1, alpha equals to 1, and G2 for this case here is equals to 1.1132. So from here, I can compute that my Z2 is equals to 44.915 ohm. Okay, you probably see that I never use the whole set of formula for N equals to 3. Okay, remember, as I mentioned earlier on, Z1 is equals to Z3, if you still remember. And this Z12 is equal to Z23. And therefore, I don't need to recalculate these two equations. And therefore, from here, I have fully designed the band stop filter. So basically, the Z1 and Z3, okay, which is the open circuit stop, having the impedance of 106.95 ohm. And then the connecting line for Z12 is equal to Z23. They have the impedance of 93.97 ohm. And then last but not least, at the middle, okay, which is the Z2, okay, it actually has the impedance of 44.915 ohm. Okay, with all these so-called impedance, I can actually transform them into micro strip line. Okay, so I have gone through this. How can we actually use the impedance to find the width and the length of a micro strip line? Okay, I will put that particular video, how to do this, okay, on the description. So guys, if you're not sure how to do this, okay, take a look on that particular video. That particular video will teach you how to make use of impedance. And since all the so-called the transmission line is actually all quarter wavelength, so therefore I will be able to find the width and the length of the transmission line as is shown over here. So basically this diagram here actually show the layout of a wide band micro strip band stop filter on a substrate with a relative dielectric constant of 6.15 and a thickness of 1.27 mm. Okay, so basically this is actually the full wave EM simulation frequency response. Okay, so if you still remember, okay, the center of the band stop need to be at 2.5 gigahertz, which I think I more or less maybe fall on the lower side, but typically this is considered acceptable with the band stop center frequency at 2.5 gigahertz. And also the edge, okay, F1, okay, which is about 1.25 gigahertz, which I think I meet. And the upper cutoff frequency at 3.75. Maybe not that so ideal, but 
or oh, end of the day, I feel that this is probably acceptable. So basically from here, you can see that I have successfully designed the band stop filter using a few sets of formula. Okay, so this set of formula, you can see that it's actually quite easy to apply. So keep this in mind. Okay, so this is a very general formula, which is the alpha, which you need to use for all the calculation. So after that, you need to decide how many open circuit stuff that you need in order to design this pen stop filter. Okay, for this so-called video, I actually use this n equals to three. Since n is equals to three, remember the symmetric line. Okay, so therefore z1 is equals to z3, z12 is equals to z23. So I don't need to do all this. And then from here, I actually so-called successfully design this open circuit stop band stop filter. As you can see that these are all the impedance value. Okay, so after that, you can actually transform this impedance with a quarter wavelength okay, to find out the width and the length of the microstrip line, which in general, you will be able to achieve this layout of a microstrip line. And then after that, you can do a very quick simulation okay, to see that it actually has this band stop filter. As you can see from here, this line is actually the S21 you can see that they basically will not be able to pass through at the center of this band stop filter. And with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please sub to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now.